All right, everyone, we are here with two very, very special guests. We are super excited. We're here with Kelsey and Joey. They're engaged. Happy couple sitting right with us. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're excited. We're we super are excited. So excited. I mean, granted, we, we saw you guys last night and we got to kind of chat a little. You're very nice. We, we, we went out to the bar. Mm -hmm. um, there was about 20 minutes of just the three of us and your entire family, Joey, which was great. They were like, no, we swear they told us to come. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you came over and your sister came over and, you know, invited us to the bar and we were leaving. And I was like, guys, they don't like actually want us to go like we have to go home. And they were like, no, they invited us. And I and I like was being like, no, we're intruding like we can't go. I'm really glad we did go. But yeah. I, you know, I thought you were just being, you know, you were being nice. And I was like, we can't intrude on this. But I'm really happy we came because your families are great. Your yeah. friends like it, it was it was great to see everybody celebrating you guys. Now we're glad fun. you came too. Yeah, it was the end of the full experience of you guys being at your, your first AFR. That's how you do it. I, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And and, you know, we're we're throwing a lot of superlatives around right now of like best bachelor, best season. In, I don't know. I kind of think that I would say it has been. And what's like, what's the feedback been for you guys? I'm sure everyone's so happy for you both. Yeah, I mean, I think that everyone's been so positive. I was a little worried about the ending, how people would take it, I guess. Yeah. But I think that it was shown perfectly and everyone's been so kind. So I'm really appreciative of that. Yeah, I think we've both been really lucky that we didn't have a lot of hate throughout this season. I know that can happen a lot of yeah. times for the lead. Also, she's in a tough spot being a contestant on it. But we're really happy with how everything ended. And I don't know. It's it's nice to hear people say that. We know a lot of people have been invested in this season. I know that a lot of people have been starting to come back to the show. So um, we're just happy because this is what it's all about is now yeah. that we have this right exactly yeah everyone has been saying like greatest bat you hit all your marks greatest bachelor <laughs> ever um but you and daisy like People such a saying us yeah, yeah. Uh, it's us and yeah. and everybody else yeah. um but you and daisy had such a mature ending as well which mm -hmm. i think was really important for people to watch especially with this franchise not to say that like there's been any like crazy, you know, endings yeah. where yeah. the girls hate each other or whatever, but we've never, mm -hmm. when they said we were gonna see something that we've never seen before, we did see that. Now, granted, it wasn't like the most dramatic thing in the entire world, right. but it was still cool to see yeah. what had happened there. Um, although it feels like some things were cut out a little bit, how did you guys decide that you two were gonna ride in the van over together? I honestly can't remember who for sure like initiated that conversation of like let's go into the you know car let's ride together but I think it might have been me I'm not 100% yeah. sure uh, but we it was a group decision you know we were like let's let's go in the car together because we were both so emotional and so it was nice to just have each other for support right yeah. exactly did you feel at all because this is maybe the only criticism that I have seen mm -hmm. is that maybe that took away a little bit from your moment of yeah. going into the proposal did you feel that at all or were you just like this is i'm i'm okay with this yeah i don't think so i think that i mean i don't think that anything could have you know made our moment like smaller or yeah. anything like that i think that it was so spectacular and so big and still at the end of the day like i was a little surprised you know yeah i did i think that it was like obvious for daisy but at the same time it's like i'm I don't know if he's gonna propose to me until he gets down and proposes yeah, to me. Right. So I don't think that it t fully took the element of surprise out, but it was, I don't know, it was comforting to know that she knew, you know? Yeah, yeah it, it was really interesting to see that unfold. And I, I like they said, we've never seen something like that before. You know, sometimes people will leave before they even step up right. to mm -hmm. the initial proposal. Joey, in that moment, like you were emotional yeah. and that's because you knew. In those days, dates with Daisy were the things you were saying because you knew you weren't going to pick her which is which is I think totally okay we talked about it that mm -hmm. like you were saying things that were like you know even if we're not together right. um a and ominous and, and not yeah. really leading her on to the point of being like don't worry it, it's you right i think uh i think she did a really good job explaining it last night yeah. too and and even through her, her itms and those moments she has on the show where she's talking about it like I, I tried to be very smart with my words. I didn't mm -hmm. want to lead anyone on. Um, I felt it was really important just to be honest about how I was feeling. And I didn't even realize until watching it back how much I'm like, yeah, it, it was very obvious. We did talk so much about our future, really from 
overnights and on, we were mm-hmm. talking about planning and this and that. And I think because I was doing it with her, I was like, this is so wrong if I'm going to do this with someone else. And I didn't realize from that situation that, that would also affect what her feelings were too. Mm-hmm. Um, and we both said it like, w- it's the ending that should have been. Um, I-, I think Daisy's amazing. She thinks Daisy's amazing. It's just one of those things that it's how it went. And, and yeah. I-, I-, I tried my best through this because it is a yeah, tough situation right. that last week. Extremely tough. And you handled it so well, very respectful on all parts like we talked about. Now, did you guys see, um, you know, there's spoiler people in the universe of the Bachelor world. Mm-hmm. The initial spoiler was that you had picked Daisy. Yes, it was. Were you, were <laughs> Kelsey? I want to know your reaction. Were you kind of like pissed, or were you like just wait and see? Okay, so initially I was like, "Heck yeah, this is yeah, awesome!" This is good. I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like "Hell yeah. yeah!" I was like, "No one knows. Yeah. <laughs> this is so sick." And then the weeks went on and on, and people were like, "It's Daisy," you know, all this stuff. Yeah. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that hurts a little, you know. Yeah. It's me. It's me. But um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it it is what it is, and I think that I just had to like swipe past like yeah. all that yeah. social media stuff yeah. that was about that. But I mean, it's all out, and I think that people are really happy with the way it ended, and yeah. I mean, I am. I mean, your love really shines through. Like yeah. I was so giddy. I mean, both of us were so yeah. giddy watching you guys. Like you can feel that true love, that real connection, the chemistry. I've talked about it before. Um, I think people make connections on this show all the time. Time, but I think it's it can be rare that it feels so palpable through the screen yeah. and with you guys like I just I just felt that way like we were just so giddy yeah, to I see. Yeah I just think you guys are both extremely genuine so when it came down to like those last few weeks as viewers and we talked about it a lot on Cutting Stems we are like Daisy's great but it's we can tell like it's yeah. not mm. fully there like yeah. we were like this is and it was like we were like not trying to be Root, like mean to Daisy or like knock Daisy or like Daisy's great she's wonderful but like we're if if we're watching this yeah. and we can tell that like this connection that you guys have is is so strong Joey when do you think like was there a moment that it 100% cemented it's yeah Kelsey? I think the uh, everyone felt it from watching a show last yeah. night too the 100% cement was after families because yeah. when mm-hmm. It, we we had moments in Rhonda, in Jasper. Her hometown went so well. Fancy suites were amazing. Like everything was lining up, and I was like, okay, last step. Like let's see how it is with the family. Uh, I have to stay open, but also people saw with the note too. Like yeah. I was crushed if she was leaving. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. there's so many yeah. moments that went through. Like I can't imagine a life without her. So that's what people felt when they saw the note. So there's so many moments leading up, but that that family moment when I was like. They loved her. She was amazing. She was so excited to meet them. I felt like she was ready. So that was when I think people saw me even being more careful about my words mm-hmm. and, and how Daisy started to find out. Yeah. So, yeah, that was really the cementing moment was when she met my family. Kelsey, how did you feel after meeting Joey's family? Well, I <laughs> I was so nervous and I feel like I was just so excited. And that's how all my nerves were coming out. Is I was just like spewing the first thing that was on my mind. And that's just how I am. Honestly, yeah. that's how I talk. <laughs> how you should be. I just, I don't really think a whole lot before I say <laughs> things. Like I made up I a word you. last night, yeah. apparently. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw it. Intentful. Uh, but yeah. Beautiful word. <laughs> yeah, no, it's new. It's going to be added soon to the dictionary. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, no, I was just, I was nervous, um, you know, with his family. But also I feel like I showed who I was and th- I showed them how much I loved Joey. Yeah. And I told them that. So I, do you think that they really felt that even that moment when they had like the little thing like do you think she's actually ready because of how she responded my sisters knew it too they were like this girl's communication style is just different like she says the first thing comes to her mind she's such a light she's she's just that's how she's going to talk through this but we did feel like she was ready so we yeah. had no doubts even that day. Yeah, they yeah. like to cut some of those parts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to know when you guys were on the show and you'd go back to your rooms late at night, like, Joey, were you just like dying to talk to Kelsey at points? Or Kelsey, were you like, how can I get more time with him? Like, how do you kind of register these feelings? Like, are you journaling? I want to know the process because yeah. there's no phones, there's no outside, there's TV, no music, nothing. Yeah, I'm I'm a big journaler. Yeah. I journaled so much throughout this whole process, and I think that that really helped me. And I would recommend that to anybody that's going on the 100%. show. Get a big fat blank journal <laughs> and write every day. And it's also really sweet to look back and see like my my moods throughout the whole show and like where I was at. But yeah, journaling helped me so much. And yeah, I mean, I always wanted to spend time with him, but sometimes it was n- nice to sit back and just like think about process. how I was actually feeling. I I told his dad um, during a hometown visit or his hometown visit. It and it was he asked me you know is it joey or is it like the idea of joey and i was like i 
purposefully took my time telling Joey that I loved him because I wanted to make sure that I meant it fully. So whenever I blurted it out to my dad, like I wanted to take that second to make sure like I actually mm-hmm. felt that. And it wasn't just Joey the Bachelor. It is Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Who I right. Love. And, and it was. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had little ways to kind of also have those moments too. Mm-hmm. Um, the, I'll, I'll say one little story. She, she, when we were in Malta, said that there was a song when she was on the plane that always made her think of me. And it was <laughs> Dress by Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. So then I listened Great to that song. song. So whenever I had like a moment of, I miss Kelsey. So I would just like get one of the producers like play Dress right now. Aww. So that would be like something I would do. Oh, that's so sweet. Like, no, like, why, am I, why am I tearing up? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, like, that's yeah. the kind of, right? Like yeah. you get little like, moments <laughs> like no, that. I, my, my ankles are starting to lie. <laughs> Lost control. <laughs> there was a lyric in that song, and it was talking about like it could be a crowded room, and it just feels like you two, yeah. and that's why it really made yeah. me think of him. And I was like in the air on the airplane, um, going to Malta, listening. We didn't have phones, so I was listening to whatever was on the plane, and right. so I was just listening to that song over and over again. I was like, <laughs> so like it hit, it hit. So then that was just yeah, little moments like that yeah. make yeah. a huge difference. And- so. Yeah, and then you know the the note did lead to more time. Yes, um, and of course everyone really was like, "Oh my God, why we need to talk? That never means anything good." <laughs> like, how did you feel writing the note? And when you saw Joey's reaction, what did you think? Yeah. Um, I did not expect his reaction. If I'm being honest, I felt yeah. terrible whenever I saw him. Um, open the door my heart like completely sank and I was like oh my gosh I don't want him to feel you know like I was playing games or anything like that um yeah Dublin could have worded it differently <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, again it, it ended but, up being yeah. great for us because yeah. it, it reconfirmed like okay I can mm-hmm. actually because for me I always said love is also the idea of not picturing you can't picture your life without them and that was mm-hmm. a big moment for me where I was always worried if someone was leaving if someone was knocking on the door like I never wanted to be her so when I saw a note that said can we talk it's like is this happening like this is my fear so right. but it, it was good for us and we did have time to talk through some other things that day that people didn't see so it was a nice moment yeah. at the end of the day yeah and i i sorry we just oh no we did at the same time i like that that was totally in yeah. Yeah. um i think a common theme throughout the season was you being fearful that nobody was going to be there mm-hmm. at the end and and we talked about it and it was like you know i really hope joey doesn't just pick somebody who is there yeah. pick who you truly feel that love with and mm-hmm. I, and it's just so great to see that it's yeah. you i mean your personality like really shined through the entire season i think people really saw like your goofy side mm-hmm. funny i think what joey's family said about you mm-hmm. is so true like you do have this light about you mm-hmm. um and it was just great to see because i i love watching the show and really feeling like we get to know people i right. think oftentimes you, we go, man, we didn't like get to know that person or whatever. So it was great to see, you know, like getting to know you. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Not to get t- too deep, Joey. Do it. I'm going to mention what Rhea just said, but you said it a lot, right? Yeah. Like uh, my biggest fear is that somebody they're going to leave and I'm going to be alone at the end of this. Where did that fear really stem from, you think? Yeah, it was, I mean, I'll, I'll be completely honest. It was past relationships. Yeah. Um, I think everyone has that. I definitely try to tread carefully in discussing those relationships because that is something I want to respect. Um, and also I have nothing but love and respect for those women mm-hmm. because they shape me into who I am in a mm-hmm. lot of ways too. Um, yeah, we've talked about it a lot. Mm-hmm. We did talk about it on the show too, even though not everyone saw it. I... I, I had to work on myself, you know, like I had a relationship that I thought was the one it didn't work out. And then when that happens, you question, what did I do? Like, what was it about me? And I had to learn about love languages. I had to do better at communicating. I had to understand what someone else needed. And that takes time. And I, I took that kind of baggage into my next relationship. And that one I ended, but it didn't work out because I know I wasn't mm-hmm. doing a good job and question for the first time, like, am I even like a good guy? Am I going to make someone happy someday? Like I always envisioned to be the best husband possibly be the best father like I want that but then I was like well now I need to find someone and is it is am I the problem I guess so I think a lot of that came through during the show because you're put in those situations you're asked to like give so much emotion to these women and you you get spread thin and then I just like I, I tried as much as I could to like put those emotions into the camera and maybe I didn't do the best explaining it sometimes right. but it was real like I did it have just, that because it doubt. just feels like there's a, when there is a common theme I do think um, sometimes the show like really holds on to yeah. like, the one totally. thing so it does feel like it was repeated a lot of times without yeah. getting to kind of dive too deep into it but like you said and you because you've been on the other side you made it that far on The Bachelorette so I feel like you have an understanding of how you know the lead does pick somebody but 
they ha- want they have to want to be picked. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they have to feel it back. So Kelsey, I want to ask you because, you know, you kind of said like, hey, went into the show, excited to meet him. See, wasn't necessarily like I will be like I yeah. need to yeah. be engaged yeah. at the end of this. So you do kind of have to choose Joey. What made you fall in love with Joey? Because it's always like a lot of focus on him picking <laughs> right. what girl he likes, you know, the yeah. most. But what did you like about Joey the most? I don't know. He was always so reassuring and intentional with his words. Um <laughs> I, I think that we just, it was so effortless with us. Mm-hmm. Like at the beginning, the very first time uh, we talked, um, I was very nervous. But then after that, it, we just eased into each other. The paintball date, it was so fun. Um, that's actually where we had our first kiss. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, it was really, really special. Yeah. 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 And I think even, you know, you talking about what you just said here about your past relationships, sometimes with the lead, we don't necessarily get to learn so much about them. You know, we love learning about all the contestants, Mm -hmm. um, but you are listening to everybody's stories and you're taking that all in. And that could be a lot. And, um, you know, more than ever, I think on this season, I think it was because you responded so well to Mm -hmm. what people were telling you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we picked up on it more. Um, But I think it's great to learn about you and the experiences you have had as well, because yeah, of course, you're going to be a little nervous yeah. about, yeah. you know, if you've had past trauma with relationships, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm a little nervous that this yeah, person's not going to be in the, yeah. in the end. But all those things happen for a reason, mm-hmm. you know, because look at you guys now. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have changed a single thing. I tried my best to be honest and people can't see everything like we did. She understood where that mm-hmm. insecurity came from. Yeah. We talked about that a ton. It's just, as you said, they're going to highlight the women because there are so many stories to get through. Yeah. And a lot of times people just expect that they know The Bachelor or right. again, I, I always felt like I didn't want to act like I was like I'm the bachelor I'm in this role like that's you can't be that person Mm -hmm. you got to try to understand that this is difficult and I'm not going to act like I have it figured out because no one does in this position of course and I I think that landed you in a a great spot yeah um how has it been since you guys have been together in hiding now you no Uh, longer have to hide which is a beautiful thing mm -hmm. but how often did you guys like get to see each other what was the communication like we saw each other about every three weeks. Yeah. Um, and we would sneak away to a house and get to hang out um, in seclusion. Yeah. So yeah. we played a lot of puzzles, watched a lot of TV shows, yep. uh, s- took a lot of naps. You know. Yep. <laughs> you said Chill. last night, order Chipotle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. order Chipotle. Chipotle yeah. <laughs> but no, That's it was bad. great. It's really nice to just finally be able to be out and do normal things. Like we're so excited to go to dinner tonight. I'm excited for you guys. Yeah. How did you feel after the show last night um, at the bar with your your friends and family? It was so great. I think, you know, I always said too, in, in relationships, I always wanted to be in a position where we could be doing our own thing but then we come together, it's just that much better. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time we actually got a chance to do that where like I was talking to you guys, I was talking to my family, I was talking to my boys that were there and I look over and I just see her having the time of her life and I just come over, give her a kiss and say hello. And then like we get that moment to then have it together. And like, it's so simple, but it's what I picture as a healthy and loving relationship. And now we finally get to do that. Right, it was so sweet. How nervous do you guys get in the in-between period of like potentially spoiling something or saying the wrong I mean, posting the wrong thing up, so or like doing the wrong that. right because it's like you know you have your back you have your phones you know i felt like especially this season too the girls were really active on social mm-hmm. media yeah. more than um it feels like past seasons so how do you both navigate that without like you know yeah. saying too much or we, posting we did, the wrong we did, thing. We did mess up a little bit. We found out pretty quickly how much these, like the, the I think they're called sleuthers. They, yeah. they are, they're, she they're said sleuthing. they should work for the the FBI. Yeah, like, yeah. They're, they're on they it. Should, yeah. we, we did one during one of our last Happy Couple Houses. We had like a blank background and I, I thought we were smart and she took a video of me for TikTok and then she had a really sweet video about her mom and went outside and we had no idea they were going to put together. A like, fence and like a sliver of a cabinet. It was crazy. <gasps> I know. We'll and show you. We'll show you pictures of it later but like it wasn't it was so far-fetched that it wasn't like everyone's like i think this is it but it still made us realize like wow like we we have to be careful and uh, we always go back it's because people care they were invested but we don't want to ruin it like we want people to enjoy it terrible i like couldn't sleep that night i felt so bad i felt like i let a lot of people down but it was not intentional so and people know that and the people that from they know that on that side too everyone sees but it's it's tough and they were just so excited because the spoiler was wrong. Yeah, and yeah. Much yeah. It wasn't the greatest it's thing like, and, and, yeah, for us. People love, love um, 
specifically like to prove some spoilers wrong. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Like, of course. Kelsey, you posted a hilarious TikTok about Joey's eyes. <laughs> oh my god. And <laughs> that got, I think that got people talking as well because they were like this is a girl who's joking around about <laughs> yeah. her fiance. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that was hilarious. And then Joey, you had to address the situation with, with your yeah. eyes. Because people I were did. like really like diagnosing you. Yeah. yeah I, I, so which funny. is scary. I hate when people do that. Yeah. I get it though. I mean, it, yeah. my, they look messed up sometimes. Yeah. Like I understand. <laughs> uh, I didn't really notice until yeah. people started yeah. pointing it yeah. out. Yeah. No, it's it's something I, I tried my best to explain mm -hmm. on TikTok. I felt like it was the right way to do it to give them some context. But she was the one that actually pushed it a ton. She's like, just tell people. I'm sick of seeing these comments. Because it would annoy like, me. Yeah. I was like, y'all yeah. don't know what's wrong with him. Like yeah. he is right. fine. Yeah. <laughs> are you taking care of? Are you noticing you're getting like really protective over each other and what people yeah. say? Yeah. It's like, it's, it's yeah. funny because like we always reassure each other, mm -hmm. but. But like, if I get a mean comment, she's the one in my comment section. Like, I'm reporting this person. Yeah, yeah. 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 they yeah. are. Right. Yeah. Of she's, course. She's, I mean, she's been great. She hasn't gotten a lot of stuff. But whenever it, there is a small thing, like I, I'm looking at the account, I'm like, let me see who's yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, of course. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're like you need to block that girl. No, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. you look, you're like, does that person follow me? Because I'm gonna block them from yeah. seeing yeah. my account now. <laughs> right. Exactly. I hate when you go through it too, and like you do see one comment, and then you see they don't even like follow you. I was like, you went out of your way. Yeah. What are you doing here? How did you end up here? And also the people. Out of here, like the comment. You guys ever? Yeah. Do you ever fall into that? Where you're no, like, No, I oh, have it. That would no, be funny. I if wish I didn't. Well, there. sometimes I'm just like, oh, like, oh, my God, how did it get so many likes? Oh like, yeah. Oh, like, like I'll see. Geez, why are you? Why likes. are you liking yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> Does this mean it's true? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you like guys 10. have any like secret? code names like texting i'm trying to think like yeah. god forbid somebody picks up your phone and they're yeah, like right. oh do you have like did you have to save each other's contacts as different names yeah you we should did. explain yeah. yours, yours yeah so mine is a uh, feign c um yeah that's the face you should have <laughs> what it, it was just fiance spelled <laughs> oh, weird yeah. oh. um, she was like put it in. i was like feign's not a real name people <laughs> yeah. are gonna know that's that's not it i think i might still be feign c right yeah. now i don't even you know if you feign it yet <laughs> He was um, like, that is not a name. Like so F A I N C C. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. No and, one caught uh, on. Yeah. Hey. She she I told mean, me I met a, a European guy. Yes. Yeah. Fame. 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 Like or really mysterious. Yeah. 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 He's Australian. Yeah. 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 She she told me early on, I think it was night one, that her family always gave her the nickname Bird, like Kelsey Bird. So mm. I did a little chick emoji. So mm. and that's, oh, the, that's cute. It's actually Kelsey with the little chick emoji. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cute. Because also I want to say, like, if you picked a random guy's name. Joe, you would be like, who the I'd be fuck? like, who the who? hell is Ben? Where right. Is yeah. why, why are you picking that name? What is going yeah, on? Yeah, it's better to go with a yeah. fake, but feigned A very, yeah. very fake name. I was trying to be clever, but it was actually. She laughed so <laughs> much when she did, too. I was like, I was this like, is going to stick. Like, I, I thought it was a joke, yeah. and then it actually stuck. So. Yeah, I love it. How do you That's guys cute. feel about doing, you know, like interviews like this or press in general? Like, we what's it been like? We just talked about this. Yeah. I love, I think that podcasts are so fun. Yeah. It's so much more like relaxed and just like you're, you know, chit chatting. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm getting more familiar with the interviews uh getting i guess like they're getting easier for me yeah. uh but yeah i think that they're fun she's been doing great it's yeah. weird it's, it's a little different and yeah. I, I was always i knew it was gonna be something that maybe could scare a little bit but she's been doing awesome right. and i think it's so much nicer to do this together now and feed off each other uh -huh. yep. yeah it's always as somebody that hosts a show with another person you know it's having another person good to have somebody to very yeah. good bounce off of. it certainly is um, joey you were doing a lot of interviews during the season mm -hmm. which can be hard because like we said you're not trying to spoil it did you realize mm. how you maybe messed up a little bit when you were talking about people in past tense did you catch did on you? to that i don't even know i probably messed up well, explain <laughs> explain what i did um i think i i saw it on e-news that like, you were talking about um maria the, and you were like she was blah blah, oh, yeah, blah. and it was before that. she yeah. had what was sent home yeah and everyone was like Oh my God! So spoiler. it's not. Yeah, spoiler. Yeah. Does he not realize that he didn't say it like in present tense? Hey, How did you not realize? I, I tried my best. That's you had right. your, it, you had your mind on someone else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That um, was honestly the hardest part of it all. It's right. like I'm, I'm like I don't want to talk about anyone else. I'm, I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I know. I could totally see that. I mean, even coming in here and talking with us and bringing up Daisy in the beginning, like it feels weird because I'm like you guys are happily engaged yeah. and we're yeah. bringing up somebody else but of course it's the show so we have to touch it's on it understandable. Um, and it's understandable but I understand in you guys where you're like when this settles and you guys can just like focus on each other yeah but also like the reality things like a lot of time has passed, so yeah. I feel like we've had so much time together, and you know this comes with the show, and right? It comes with how we met, so yeah. And working I'll through and yeah. working through the emotions yeah. of it all, like for it sure. lessens, um, you know, with the time. Yeah, totally. Kelsey, how was the house for you? Because I feel like watching this season, you know, there was some petty 
drama going on between some of the ladies sometimes, yeah. but it felt like you really you were not in the mix yeah. at all, at least on camera. So how did you kind of get through your time with all the other girls? And when you saw trouble starting to to flare up, did you just kind of like take a couple steps back? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I definitely took a, a yeah. couple steps back. I don't like being in the mix of drama. I'd rather watch it from afar. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I always take things with a grain of salt as well. Like if someone comes to me and tells me that somebody did this, I'm like, okay, you know, putting that in the back of my yeah. head. Um, but yeah, I just tried to stay away from all that and focus on what I was there for. And I honestly, I had really great friendships with pretty much every single woman in the house. So mm-hmm. that was that was helpful. <laughs> there was a lot of people that pointed out to the fact that all of the ladies in the final four had changed <laughs> their profile pictures mm-hmm. on Instagram to their baby photos. Yeah. Was that pre-planned? Great. This is literally insane. It was not. Yes. Wow. Swear on everything. It was not. I did not know that they had baby pictures. I put mine up, like, I think right before I went public because I was like, oh, I don't like any of these pictures. Let me just put a baby picture. Yeah. It's easy. It's fun. Whatever. And um, yeah, then we realized that we all had it like way later on. But yeah, no, it was really funny. I think Maria and Daisy already had theirs. And I think uh, Rachel and I might have changed ours like right before we went public but yeah. no like I don't think that was not intentional at all that yeah. is crazy Isn't that so like, you guys only really did weird. like did you discuss it afterwards like at, we all realized like yeah, did you see people like, were picking odds? up on it yeah, yeah. Like, and I was so just like that is insane that early. I was oh like, yeah really I had I literally it was not a thought in my mind but I mean that's fun I think that they should cool. do little easter eggs like yeah. that forward I think there's maybe enough easter eggs at this point right everyone's picking up everything yeah so moving forward you guys are always asked about what your plans are and I know you both said New York so what why New York I mean we're happy to have you please come to New York welcome Um, (laughs) yes welcome to New York and why, why New York? I've always wanted to live in New York. I love the hustle and bustle of things. I've always wanted to live in a big city like that. And New Orleans is, is fun and it's yeah. cute, but, you know, it's more quaint. Um, also, I work in construction project management. There's a lot of stuff like that. Got to go to New York. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, I've just always wanted to. I think I also romanticize it a lot with, like, yeah. you yeah. know, uh, early 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 2000 rom-coms and yeah. things yeah. like that. But um, I've always just had this feeling that I need to live there and – regardless if I hate it or not, like I need to know. Yeah. And so I told Joey about that and he was, he was in for it. Yeah. I was, I, as soon as we started talking about it, I was like, okay, so we're going to New York. Like, yeah. There's no, there's no if, and, or buts, but I'm excited. I, I got a chance, obviously when I came to see you guys and did mm-hmm. press there, I really did enjoy it. Like yeah. it's, it's not a place I ever saw myself living because I came from, I was living in Hawaii after yeah. college. Yeah. Like definitely <laughs> yep. very different yep. vibe. Very, very. Um, but, but you're kind of a little fun. city, like Philly city. Yeah. Like, not too far, from, you know? It's yeah. not too far, which is, I think, one of yeah. the parts that we're really excited yeah. about. Like, train ride away from Carly and yep. Zach and my dad, yeah. which is going to be awesome. So um, I still have a bunch of friends in the Philly area so they can come visit me. Yeah. Um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to be close to family and it's it's the right place for us right now, for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. Are you excited to go to New Orleans for a I little am. bit? I am. I think it's gonna be really fun because it's it's a part of her right and that's yeah. what's exciting is to be able to see what she's like in her environment i know she's got a bunch of coffee shops and, and yeah. food places she wants mm-hmm. to show me um I'm, I'm gonna be like she's still working so i'm just gonna be probably working on my golf game playing some tennis <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm be sugar mama yeah <laughs> if you want to invite trent down to I New Orleans to golf, play right? some golf. Loves because New Orleans. he loves New Orleans. Love oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Can we get a, a little explanation of the voodoo doll? Because I, I will say we went to New Orleans last week and my sister was like, do not go into any of the voodoo shops. And I literally like walked on the other side of the street when I saw them. I um, went to just the voodoo like daiquiri and chicken oh, yeah. because I was like, I just wanted something for a prop for a video and yeah. I bought it and we went to do the show and I had it in my hand and Rhea saw the glass and saw that it's she's like, You went in you went in? I was like I said, it wasn't a wasn't a voodoo shop. I, said, I, after I, I told you, place. I got a daiquiri and they sell chicken there. Like no, I'm like, <laughs> after I told you? Yeah. My, no, my sister scared the shit out of me. Yeah. That's yeah. what happened, yeah. okay? But I want to hear from somebody who's from there. Well, so I actually did a lot of research before I brought the voodoo doll because I was like, let me <laughs> right, not. No bad energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah let right. me not ruin him, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> or me. Yeah. Um, so I actually was looking it up and um they do a lot of ceremonies for love and respect mm-hmm. and um, it's not all negative and Hollywood actually just really put a negative view on voodoo, yeah. but it's not as bad and like 
um, what is it? Like they just think that you're gonna like hurt each other, hurt the person. Yeah, like, right. Put, put pins in the like voodoo doll. Yeah. 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 like a saying. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, it's not as negative as it seems. Um, but yeah, no, I just I thought it would be funny and like memorable. Yeah, yeah it and definitely was. There's no real voodoo in that doll. I mean, <laughs> oh, totally. I don't know. She I don't gave know what there is. Or say, maybe there the was. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah, is she the doll? She gave it to me. So it actually, it turned out. Yeah, I need to know that if that's true. Um, she didn't hold on to it, which was the first thing I was like, okay, like maybe this is a good thing because if she held on to it after i would have been a little more yeah. worried uh but no she uh she gave it to me on that night and then okay. i made sure with the producers when we got to spain I, I had it with me every time after that so after ronda it was it was by my bedside every single night I imagine kelsey was like yeah slept with it under my pillow every yeah. single day yeah, <laughs> yeah or else right. he woke up with like a broken arm <laughs> she like, has what? it behind her back on the oh last day God. she <laughs> walks up yeah. like get down on one yeah, knee like, <laughs> yeah. bend bend <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that is really funny. Well, we're so excited for you guys to go to, you know, be in New York and, mm -hmm. and start that oh, yeah, we're chapter. So as I know these questions are probably annoying, but what is, you think, like a timeline? Do you yeah. want a long engagement? Yeah. How do you feel? Because I know you guys both, we sort of heard a little bit of Joey's timeline from when you had those conversations with Lexi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But where are you guys both at together? Yeah, I had that timeline with everyone. I was yeah. honest. I mm -hmm. think the biggest part of it was, as I said, this is a different type of experience where you meet someone quickly and a long engagement makes so much sense yeah. and we're still going to figure out how to navigate all that mm -hmm. but the goal is long engagement not to rush through it give us more time to plan yeah. um and then we'll figure out when that wedding is going to be but all that timeline stuff i said on the show too like it is so subject to change so yeah, if right, anything changes course. it does but we're just excited to finally be at the point that we are now and yeah. that we are the ring yeah. is on the finger mm -hmm. it's beautiful any, did you drop any hints on what kind oh, of yeah. ring you were yes, hoping for? i did I did. I said like emerald cut, simple. Mm -hmm. I didn't want a halo. And um, it's funny. I showed him the ring that I showed my producer that I was like, okay, this would be the ring yeah. if I could pick any ring. It literally looks just it's like, like this. It's like the exact same thing. That's amazing. Yeah. It's insane. Like with the little, what are these called? Uh, I think moons? half moons. Yeah. She had yeah. she had she had two tips that I, I knew about, and she likes gold, and then she really wanted to have a, an emerald cut because she likes a like more feminine, longer cut. Yeah. Because she said like I have longer fingers, I want it to look good on. So I was like, okay, good. But then when the rings came, there was a gold one, but it wasn't an emerald cut. It was kind of mm. circular and it was a yeah. little smaller. I was like, I think the emerald cut's more important. But <laughs> I was yeah, I was right. a little nervous. Yeah. I was like, I hope she likes yeah. it. Right. And you. You could Let change me tell you, the band. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like, you're never going to go wrong going diamond band just Diamonds cut. Important. Like it's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like, okay, the I'll take the diamond band. Yeah, exactly. It's maybe the most important, the important yeah. part. <laughs> but and it's it's so beautiful. Thank you. It's yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, and I mix metal, so I was like, maybe I'll just do a gold wedding band. Exactly. Yeah. That, would be, be that would be really pretty. Yeah, that would be really pretty too. I'm Because I'm now I'm laughing, I'm like, you write your note, we need to talk, and then there's just like a drawing of, <laughs> yeah. of, of an environment. I don't think I told you what the ring was. Just a little drawing of just. That would have been bold. You should have done that. Oh my gosh. You would have been like, what? who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you. No, I think it would have been great. Um, okay, so we'll wrap up, but I want to ask you guys like, if there are any favorite moments that you had from your time filming the show that we didn't get to see, that they didn't air. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this one because it was one of my favorite moments. Um, the last chance date that we had, the one right before the proposal and everything, I wanted to do something really special for her so that she had another, I guess, security blanket that it was her. Like I, I knew at that moment, like I wanna, I wanna lock this in. So I, when we were in Malta, the only time I journaled through this entire experience, decided to write the date and write a note of how I was feeling about Kelsey at that moment. And it's a long-winded note. Um, we sadly didn't get to see it, but the oh, ending was. Now wait a second. Was that the note that you moved? There was like yes, a note. The note. That you I catch that. I yes. caught that. So when, when Daisy, Daisy walked came in, in that there was note. a long fucking note that you went like this. You went whoop. Yes, yeah, I was like, she, she doesn't that. need to see this. Yes. Um, yeah, that was that his yeah. note um, to me. And at the end of it, it said, "In Kelsey, I see a future." I, I see, see a wife. A wife. Yeah. Aww. So I, and I, I sorry, that's not something to laugh at. I'm just thinking of Kelsey like like shoving it into her pocket, being like. Like, oh, Daisy! Daisy yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, so, but it was really special. That I is want, so and sweet. I think it's really important for her to know too. As much as this is tough, where I'm like trying to figure all this out, like I did feel it as long as even in Malta, and that was before mm -hmm. we even like we didn't even have a one on one yeah. yet at that moment. Yeah. So it just showed that we built something strong, and I, I did feel like I needed to get those thoughts out. So I read that to her. We always wish that could be on there, but that's yeah. still a moment that we share. So that's yeah. all that matters. Oh, that's, that's really sweet. Uh, and you guys both yeah. had your Lizzie you read McGuire the whole moment. thing out loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's so special. cute. It is really like sweet. maybe didn't put it in because I was bawling. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she's been crying too much. <laughs> right. They were like, they, we had like how. <laughs> you're probably like, how pro Kelsey can we make yeah. this for that? Right. Like, right. We have they're, to. They're we probably like just not another, another yeah. note. Like we yeah. can't do another note. <laughs> the note. Not yeah. the other right. note. I gave him a note that said we need to talk. He gave me a love letter. I, was like, yeah. I, feel, I feel bad. <laughs> Last night we found out that Jen is the next uh, Bachelorette. What did you guys think about that? And how are you feeling about yeah. the new announcement? You go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for. Her. I think that. It, Everyone's going to be able to see Jen and how bubbly she is and um, how much love she has to give. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think people were surprised, Yeah, um, of course. But we talked about it. We said, like, you got to support her because yeah. I think, you know, we saw a little bit of her personality last night on stage, but we didn't get to see it throughout the entire season. Mm -hmm. So I think you never know what could happen. She's totally. great. She's going to mm -hmm. do a great job. I, I, I just said it earlier today, too. Like, she admitted through Tell All, like, she grew a lot on yeah. the show. And I think this is another opportunity for that to happen. And it's 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 a really great experience. I know she's going to do a great job. Totally. Yeah, guys, we're so excited. So excited we love for you. you guys. We were so pumped. I just I I don't think I said it, but I mean, on Cutting Stems, we just have been rooting for you guys so Thank hard. You. I gave my first rose of the season to Kelsey. Yeah, I knew right away. She came yep. out of that limo. I was like, "There's something about this girl yep. that I like a That's lot." About, I felt the yeah. same way. Don't you? And worry. it like it worked. It worked really well. And honestly, like. I th we were on to something this season and I, even when I repeated myself because I brought you up like multiple times yeah. and then at the end I was like I mean I'm gonna get my rose to Kelsey sorry this is boring I've talked about her <laughs> right. like five times already and I think we were raving about your hair too I think <laughs> um, oh my a million Kelly mentioned things. it um, when on the Vespa oh we were, yeah like yeah. her hair flowing in the wind <laughs> like it's all perfect <laughs> that yeah. was a fun day it yeah, was we appreciate amazing. the support yeah. we're so happy for you guys we were so, so, so happy that we could watch it all happen yeah, yeah. yeah. So be here and, it, was, it was so um, cool to and experience that, and we're it. also so happy that Rhea follows you on Instagram now it was yes. a big day for Joey I got a follow back from Rhea we were just talking about that he was like so excited <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so funny. I've told them from the beginning, like, I was a fan yes. of the show before, mm -hmm. and, like, you were the only two people that, when I was at the podcast first, I was like, like, I followed you guys before I was even on The Bachelor. Like, I was a real fan. This was fun. And I was like, I got to get the follow back from Rhea after I'm on the show, right? Like, I went on Chicks in the Office. Like, we met each other, and then yes. I finally like, got her She's tagging her you night. in stories and still not following you. But I love what I she said. She said that she wanted to make sure she followed Kelsey first because yeah. she's more important. I got the second uh, follow. Well, yeah, because Joey said it. last night at the bar he said I, I don't get it why won't you follow me back on instagram and i said oh i said i gotta be honest i wanted to wait until the end i also didn't know like i i knew you followed chicks in the office i didn't know you followed us yeah, personally yeah. so it wasn't like an evil like i'm you know it's even, she knew. I DM, I, we even had a dm i dm both you individually to your personal account and said thank you well, so much for having the show she had to go to general to find uh, that I'll, you, you knew, you I'll, be, I'll be honest like I don't look at the contestants' Instagrams during yeah. the season a, yeah. a ton because I feel like you guys are just posting like curated content mm -hmm. from the show. So I usually wait until after. Totally. But it was funny. I did say to you, I was like, I, I wanted to make sure you were an engaged man at the end with a lovely lady. Yeah. And I of followed course. Kelsey. Like, I, I want to make you. He's like, I want to make sure that she, she, that he made the right decision. Right. <laughs> right. And then he deserves the follow. Right. 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 Imagine Earned I'm stuck, imagine I'm stuck following Joey and yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to follow his journey now that I don't want to follow. <laughs> You're like, he's like, I don't, I don't like his uh, fiance. So, yeah. so what you're I'm saying kidding. is you followed me to get more Kelsey content when yes. she's on my page. No, literally. That is why. I, I can accept that. I would I would follow well, that, for that that's too. That's the I want to follow you guys yeah. as a couple. No, um, no but it was it. so funny, and I'm I'm kidding around, and and we love you guys, and we're so happy that you guys yeah. came here today. Thank you, no, congrats, guys. Us. We'll yes, see you in New York. Congratulations, Kissy in Thank New York. You. <laughs>